So Bruce, you know, the buzzword is green architecture. What does that mean exactly? Well, I think that means designing things with green growth and natural uh, energy in mind. You're asking us to grow trees? No, I'm talking no. about homes. <laughs> so green architecture could be something like you uh, recess your home into the ground and use the geothermal uh, absorption of the earth to keep your house equalized relative to the environment you're in. It could also mean that you integrate um, the sun's heat in the summertime so it's not heating the house so much, but in the wintertime it's heating an area of the house that heats the whole house. You know, one another example of green architecture is planting big shade trees south uh, of your house when you live in the northern hemisphere. There you go. Or north of your house if you live in the southern hemisphere. Right. But that really requires that you start with something and you're building your house like new construction. Right. For most people who have homes already, maybe they can put on a porch with some solar panels so that they have a more shaded area out in the backyard and those panels are also supplying energy to the house. Kind of like a two for one use. Yes. You could put solar panels as an awning. You would get shade that would keep the sun out of your windows. Right. And electricity from the solar panels as an awning. That's a great idea. Here's some more ideas of what green architecture really is.